Hello friends. Today we are going to understand how to download WordPress. So let's say how to download WordPress. First you have to go through the WordPress website. There is a download section. Now you can use the download button, download WordPress or any any download WordPress area. Now this WordPress with latest version 4.1.1 is available. You can download it will take slightly one to two minutes. Now meanwhile you can ensure whether your Zem server is available or not. So I'm going to start my Zem server. And here you have to start Apache and MySQL services. Apache it will take default port 80 and MySQL it will take port 3306. So once you have Apache and MySQL services available, you can just test it out localhost slash and this is your XAMPP server. And to install WordPress, we need a database also. So either you can use phpMyAdmin from here and you can use terminal also. I am going to write phpMyAdmin directly. So localhost slash php myadmin. Now WordPress is almost available. We are downloading right now. It's going fine. Meanwhile, we can create our database also for WordPress. So this is our database area. I'm going to write uh, any WordPress database. Let's say WordPress as a database. I have to store an entire data from WordPress to this particular database. So database is available. We can check it out here. And this WordPress database is with no tables. There are no tables available right now. So WordPress is downloaded. I'm going to open this structure WordPress. It will take a few minutes. And this is what WordPress is available. So I'm going to extract this folder right now. And WordPress folder is available with me. Okay. Now copy this entire WordPress folder having so much code to a particular table particular htdocs folder which is available in XAMPP area so I'm going to copy an entire WordPress folder here I'm going to run WordPress from localhost so localhost slash WordPress and my WordPress is available you can choose any language as per your choice I'm going to continue with English language now WordPress require four parameter first one is database name so which we have already created WordPress as a database name WordPress required username password and host now we are implementing WordPress here on localhost so logically our host will be localhost if you are implementing on your domain then definitely your domain should be a kind of host so and another two parameter we need that is username and password so let's see from where we are going to get this username and password so i have my database as a wordpress i have host as a localhost and from where you are going to get username and password so good question so whenever you are going to install xam server any web server xam server you are going to get by default database mysql and within mysql database if you just look out at user table you are going to get number of host and user and password so i'm going to use this root as a user and password blank because this user is with all the privileges select insert update delete and so on so this user can do the process insert update select delete having no password right so my username is root here password is blank and if you want to install WordPress tables with prefix, then definitely you can choose your own prefix. By default, it is WP underscore. So I'm going to submit this button and you can start with the installation process. So it is almost going right now and it's asking for your site title. name. So let's say my site title will be, you can choose anything. Let's say mobile dealer. Oh, I mean some problem while dealer in Mumbai my username for admin area WordPress admin area so let's say 
admin as my username admin as password try to pass that password which is more known to you and your email id if you have your own email id then definitely you can ask in time being i am passing just a wrong email id that's a admin at gmail.com and if you want to have this website in search engine if you want to list this website in search engine then this facility is available depends on you whether you want to install whether you want to submit or not so i'm going to submit to so install wordpress here now database will get created here we just go through the wordpress database here so this wordpress database is available and number of tables are available and i have installed with admin admin so definitely my username admin and password is available in phpm meanwhile i can check it out here and it's almost completed that's it nothing else so i know my username i know my password i am going to do login with the help of admin panel so this is my admin area we just check it out this is your wordpress localhost slash wordpress and this is my localhost slash wordpress with login page wp hyphen login page i'm going to write my username password so this is our admin area which is going to load right now with dashboard and you are going to get number of sections in wordpress so this is our simplest wordpress installation admin part is available and you can check it out your client part with this area this visit site so by default 2014 template is available so this is our wordpress client panel and this is our wordpress admin section and if you want to change your theme definitely you can use admin section here in an admin section in appearance area you can change your theme let's say wordpress is with three different theme right now the current theme is 2015 sorry 2015 was that so i'm going to choose 2013 i'm going to activate this thing and this theme got activated you can you can check here activated equal to true and if i run reload this area so oh, almost i got the new website so this was our tutorial to implement wordpress to install wordpress locally thank you very much thank you